So today we're going to talk about uh, death on the farm. It's uh, an inevitable thing that happens sometimes, and sometimes it's preventable. Um, so today, just another lovely day. Um, yeah, the line's still on, guys. Um, so we had one duck, one duck die, um, which in itself it happens. Um, we had one turkey die, one quail die, one baby rabbit die, and a couple months ago we had a um, our beautiful boy. Husky passed away. So, when you got so many animals, you got to do kind of like reaction plans. Um, preventative maintenance is essential too, but uh, reaction plans to what's happening. So, is it just particular to the one bird in the one cage is it something else um, and checking all the other birds over to see if there's anything wrong with them um, same thing with the bunnies but they were baby bunnies a month old no not even sorry like two weeks old if that uh, and it looked like he got squished but um and that happens the mom will jump on them and bruise them and stuff like that uh, so with our husky um, it was all of a sudden out of nowhere brain aneurysm or blood aneurysm um, so we took him to the vet and paid a good amount of money to make sure that whatever he had whatever happened wasn't going to happen to our other dogs um, so we took care of that and then Periodically, you'll have animals that pass away. Just they're weaker; they get trampled on. Whatever happens, but um, when it's all in one day, it just it hits you hard. So you get you got one turkey that passed. Everybody else looks fine. There's no blood marks from um, an animal get in there, hurt them. So he wasn't killed. Some of his feathers were pecked off by the other birds, which they do. <clears throat> and we had a uh, the quail that, that passed. Same thing. There's a few, only a few of them in there, so I don't know what happened with that yet. Uh, so we do have a avian bird books. And I think there's two of them in the what we have so you can go through there and look at different diseases and different things that can cause certain issues or complications um, but if they're just dead you don't really see anything that was going on in the first place it's kind of hard to identify the issue um, so what has to happen as well is you cut you got to cut the bird open um, their cropsy and you're looking for the liver you're looking at the heart you're looking to see if there's anything on the lungs and see any abnormalities. So only way to identify something abnormal is to know what it looks like normally too. Uh, so when you, if you've had a chance to look at other birds, that'll be helpful. If not, you can go online and find some pictures and different things. Um, and if you're seeing something that you're like, I'm not sure, do some research, look up pictures that show spots on the liver or show something going on with the kidneys even. Um, those could be big indicators of was the bird fighting something and is there something that's possibly going to move through your flock even though our flocks are in three separate places. Our ducks come nowhere near contact with our turkeys. And same thing with our quail. They come in nowhere near contact with any of our other birds. Uh, only possibility is, would be a transfer of um, from us feeding and watering and not washing before we touch another bird so there's always that capable that possibility um, 
very unlikely because we do try to take pretty good um, caution when going from one pen to the next. And in general, if something passes too, then you're, you know, you're washing and sanitizing your hands and clothes and whatnot. Um, Biosecurity is what they call it. Um, with the baby rabbit, pretty sure why. So I don't think anything was passed from bird to rabbit or anything like that. Um, with the smaller quail, not really sure yet. Um, <clears throat> so, and we don't know really the age of these birds too, so it could have been just getting weaker and, and the other birds started picking on it, which can happen. So that's the thing. Um, but yeah, that, that doesn't, death on the farm it's not easy um, it's just those uh, part of the life you got to deal with but it's also something that you need to plan for ahead of time uh, if something happens to be able to identify the issue to be able to uh, stop it from spreading from one part to the other part of your farm it's a very big deal so if possible when you have different birds and you're doing more of a larger flocks of each type if you can keep them separate that's you know that's great um, if not then that's just part of your um, part of your plan has to be okay if I have something that's sick can I take it to a different area and we have s several to three different areas that we can keep uh, different animals everything from a pig to a duck or a chicken even so we have different areas set up for for if animals get sick or not feeling well or hurt, injured, um, if one of them gets a bum leg, chickens and ducks, ducks more we've had issues with. Um, we have a little pen that we put them in, and then uh, we let them get back, let them get a little healthy, depending on how bad the leg is. Um, so um, with our dog, that was really really rough. Uh, he's a great great dog great family dog um, and it cost us a lot of money to be able to tell but that amount of money gives you a little peace of mind and lets you know that your other dogs are safe especially when we have other um, we have Bernese Mountain Dog and we have a long-haired German Shepherd and we have one of his puppies too so we got to keep which is a mix between our Bernese and him, because it was a Siberian Husky. Uh, so, with that being said, it was, you, you gotta sometimes pork it over um, to ensure everybody else is safe and good. A um, little harder to do with smaller animals when the cost of fixing them is typically more than it should be, or not should be, typically more than you can uh, to mend a mend a bird's wing or do something so you, you have to become the vet which we have a lot of the times um, taking care of everything our way um, through research and studying and through the books of medicine on birds themselves and diseases and pre preventative things you can do for diseases uh, to help with that so far thankfully that's not an issue I don't think it's an issue today because I would have seen more complications with other birds and each flock um, they may be a little stressed out too because we had round up all the ducks and we had processing day um, kept what we want for breeders and some other ones to grow a little larger for meat so that could have played a factor in it so you got to look at your variables and that will tell you um, and the turkeys not really sure on the turkey yet yeah. I want to just keep going out every couple hours and, and looking at them and seeing what's going on with them. So, we'll see. Um, thankfully, the pigs have been good. No issues with the pigs. And uh, they're healthy. No parasites. Hopefully, some of them are getting bred, which is really what we're looking for. Um, and the baby rabbits... Yeah, I just kind of recap it on everything. So that's just part of the life. So if you set up a process, set up a plan, um, look at your variables, 
note things, write them down, put them in a log, and that'll help you know, like, hey, didn't we have this issue before, and what happened and why, okay? Um, if our pen was, or if our areas for our rabbits smelled really bad with ammonia, I'd be concerned about causing the um, cockadillitis, or however it's pronounced, uh, coming up, because all rabbits have that. Um, that's something that's in their system that's dormant, and once that comes up, then they start getting sick, and it will spread through your whole rabbit herd. You have to call and call fast, and it sucks. Um, so if that that being noted, <clears throat> we've had an issue year, two years ago, a year and a half ago with that. We took care of it. Um, but not the issue now. But that's just something that now you know, keeping that pen clean helps with that. So put preventative measure, measures in, in place. Have a way to identify an issue know what you're looking at and make the hard decisions when you have to um, and just make them you just, you just got to do it so all right kind of a gloomy day and a gloomy topic sorry it's just um how it goes so um, be blessed remember healthy happy animals will lead to healthy, happy people.